But technically, half the party is still okay. here. Yep. Okay, welcome back to Critical 20. We're back. I missed. As always, Kip. <laughs> he ate your ammunition. So. Somebody goes around eating bullets. Wait, How uh, do you do that? Don't you have lead poisoning? Like the Terminator that just no. spit the bullets back out. We have these. Three of them. If you'd like to be entered in the giveaway, email me at critical20dnd.gmail.com or leave a comment down in the comment section down there. If you're from MATC, please sponsor us. We need it. If you're from MTEC, tweet. Mm. Nice. <laughs> nice, man. Ah, that's radical, man. <gasps> Late 80s. <laughs> okay. So where we left off? I need music. Where we left off? Bard, I have a sickle. Scythe. Scythe. It's like a giant sickle. I'll just be right here. The <laughs> back of your head is so intriguing. So intriguing. <laughs> you I don't know, on the back of the dummy's head there was a magical rune. Maybe there's one on the back of my head, is there? I can't yeah, see. keep looking at us. It's called a cowlick. Keep walking. We need, wait, we need to see it in a different light. I'll just look in the mirror. Keep going. <laughs> I also can't see the back of my head. I need like a hand here. Then you can see the back of your head. <laughs> Away with you, demon. <laughs> <laughs> the demon has shunned the light. Away with you, demon. Kiss that. Demon, away with you! The demon has a name, thank you very much. You do that again, you're losing your level in Bard. <laughs> Don't care about my level in Bard. <laughs> That's why I said your level in Bard. <laughs> I'm gonna do it again. Why are you and add that to Monk? <laughs> no, no, you just lose the level in Bard. Okay. You don't get to add it to anything. <coughs> so, what do you want to level in Bard just because you were entertaining? So, you found your way to Olar and spoke the first two oaths of the Slayers. After them being like lost for centuries? Mm -hmm. Is there a third oath? Okay, we, we have to slay all the mannequins. We're at the bottom floor. Mm -hmm. Are there any stairs or ladders? There are not. There are not? Mm -hmm. Believe in yourself. I believe I can fly. Can we fly now? <laughs> Dang it. All it takes. Three points of bludgeoning damage from hitting the floor. You realized you got your life back when we took a long rest, right? Eh, I'm leaving it here because I'm going to take more damage anyway. That's how you die. <laughs> Don't steal my crumbs. Take the crumbs. Or right. you're mine now. <laughs> <Dang it. laughs> That's a very crummy thing to do. Okay. <coughs> this is how I live so, my life. What would you like to do? I would like to slay the dummies. You fail. <laughs> You know in France, this is ruder than the middle finger, right? <laughs> or this. <laughs> Coke. <laughs> Coke. When did you oh, come to me? Ah! Was it that or was it this? I think it was this. Snake? <laughs> <laughs> you say, come to me, I'm like, yeah. Breaker paladins have got to do control of dead sometimes. Come to me. Okay, so. You're done enough. Yeah. Come to me. I'm gonna walk outside, look at the tower's height, and then walk back in. The tower is about 200 feet tall. <laughs> and walk in and look at the ceiling. The ceiling's about 20 feet up. Anything on the ceiling? Nope. 
Anything on the floor? Can we stack the dummies? The floor? Wait, any indents or anything? No, you can see. <gasps> what happens if we put our weapons on the How weapon? How big around is the tower? Um, it's about um forty foot. Actually, it's about. <coughs> Thirty foot diameter, so it's not terribly big around. Call puts her weapon on the weapon rack. Dude, once it leaves your hand, it's gone. Remember? What about this weapon rack, though? Dang it! I want to see if something happened. Uh, I'm gonna try to talk to my weapon. Cause... Weapon? What weapon? <laughs> Shaniqua? This one's Shaniqua. And this one's Little Dave. K. Should be Dave. <laughs> no, Shaniqua and Little K. Can I have black people names? <laughs> what the heck? So, black people names for glowing golden daggers. Got it. Okay, I have Shaniqua. Your character step of black person. I thought that was a Russian name. Shaniqua. Yes. No. It sounds Russian. I speak Russian. That is it's... so black, it's black as black can be. <laughs> Apologies. I to knew any... I knew a Shaniqua. <laughs> black <laughs> people too. watching. At least that thing's not named Shaniqua. The continent? No, that thing. Alluin. <laughs> <laughs> Sup, Shaniqua. <laughs> I can see it. Shaniqua. Shani? I mean I put the emphasis on the wrong syllable. Shenny Qua. I always put the emphasis on the wrong I syllable. I just wanted to give it back to you. That's how I English it. good. <laughs> That's how I English. Oh, here's your marker back. I, I thought you were going to throw it far enough for me to catch it. I didn't want to hit you. Throwing stuff at the DM is like an instant, like, sin. Yeah. See? <laughs> <laughs> you think I'd actually do that? Before it was just minus 200 experience points, back when experience points were more valuable. Well, I'm gonna like grab the edges of my cloak and like try to fly with it. What? what? <laughs> you go like this. You look like you have brain damage. I'm gonna try to get on the walls. Would. Would a. Would a scythe be piercing you or slashing? You take six points of bludgeoning damage from falling on the floor. Derek, do you just like bludgeoning damage? No, I like you falling in the floor, apparently. Would a scythe be piercing or slashing? Slashing. slashing. It says on For lance. The, yeah, but lances are lances. We're turning it into a scythe, which changes it to slashing. So 1d12 slashing? Yeah. Hmm. Reach what? and special. What does special do? Don't worry about special. I need to know. That's the special lance thing. Don't worry about the special lance thing. I need to know <laughs> now. What is that? It, you, you ignore the special the lance kiss. thing. It just gets the reach and the damage. <laughs> I can't handle it. I want it to be magic. Is it magic? Can I make an arcana check? You can make an arcana check. An arcana check. Is it divine? I had a teacher once named arcana check. Arkanoshek was actually his teacher's name. And then Arkana. That's nine. It's magic. But in what way you 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 But in what way we do not know. We do not we all we all we not know. <laughs> I'm gonna try to walk out these other doors. You walk out the other door. I walk, the bottle? I walk out the north door. Oh, the bottle with the dice going. So, you walk out the north door. Meh. And you find yourself in a very cold place. Where? Up here! Up here! Mm. In the teleside, I go the level. Really? You mean because the spot where I put the orange wait, dot? Wait, where did he walk? Through the north door, you went to the north gate. Mm -hmm. My prediction, anyway. I walked through the east door. The east door is the one you can't. No, that's the west door. East door would keep you developing. I knew it! I walked back. Wait, I go through the south door. 
Take stupid Toronto. Toronto. Market. Market. Where is it? In Alamoran. It's up to the north. It already has a dot. This wait, is wait, the wait, south? The south door? Yep. This is the south. And this is the north door. Yep. And this is the... That's useless. <laughs> this is the east door. <laughs> this is the west door. And the... <laughs> You've killed the barbarian. Call for you to let out an owl. Ow. <laughs> so what would you like to do after going through various doors? Put on my tinfoil hat to avoid the DM's insanity! You failed to make a tinfoil That's hat. not even made of metal! <laughs> <laughs> See, it's contagious. Jonathan, you failed! Okay, I go back to the tower. You go back to the tower. And start Ooh. hunting for runes. You start hunting runes. Throughout the entire city. Throughout the entire Rolling city. The These are the. M are you mocking me? <laughs> no. I got. I like will 13. destroy you, and you no, know no. it to be true. Oh, can I keep investigating? You can. Does that mean I don't roll? No, you have to keep rolling. Three. That's a twenty-seven. It's no. over, Salander. I have the high ground. I still don't find anything. No. Do I have to roll natural twenty? These are the ugliest dice. You don't like yellow? Yellow I'm against go try to black against one of those yellow leaves. is not okay. You've been investigating for it's five very hours now. Not okay. It makes me feel ill. Ill. It makes me feel ill. Mmm. I can see that. I can't speak to begin with. I have brain damage. Thank you. I'm gonna go to Beltec. It makes me, me feel very catfish. And go to their library. I don't like soldiers on my pizza. I'm going to Velte's <laughs> library. Sorry, that's a family joke. That's what happened when my great grandma got Alzheimer's. She said that. Oh. I don't like soldiers on my pizza? No, dementia, not Alzheimer's. Dementia. That sounds so, like the name of someone. You go to Velte and you're in an underground cavern similar to dementia? <laughs> I'm gonna it's come a up. disease. I know. How? What the heck? Huh? How? I think you might reading? have. The... They're not. The Adams family is good show. I'm gonna start walking down the tunnel. I'm like. I'm bad at talking. Seeing if there's any way up. It is an enclosed cavern. This is great. Where's the pencil? Here it is. How how are we gonna freaking Okay? Can I hear anything? Sight of souls. You hear the slow dripping of water and the echoing of your footsteps. Even when you're not moving. Even when you're not moving. Because it, the echoes in this room, it's made for echoes. This tower The, the place... echoes echo the echoes. And that's how smooth these walls are. <laughs> that sound also echoes. That's not as funny. That's more funny. How do I do this? <laughs> oh dear. What are you? What are you? <laughs> Don't look, the beast is back. The beast Sometimes is there. Sometimes you must wonder what you have become. Throw some at him! <laughs> <laughs> let, let me put on my skepticals. Skepticals? <laughs> skepticals. <laughs> How do you do skep um. So, make like, okay. Oh, no. <laughs> and then it, what you skeptical. do is you put your fingers like on your jaw, what? and then you just, you put your fingers on your jaw, and then just, <laughs> you don't well, yeah, put your fingers on your doll like this and then kind no, of flip rotate over. rotate forward and then just skeptical oh i see now <laughs> i'll wear the baseball cap <laughs> and skeptical wait do that again <laughs> baseball cap no <laughs> that was a delayed reaction okay 
That'll be a free action. Game. Game. Where is the water dripping from? The ceiling. As you look around, it's dripping from a stalactite. Dang it! You almost said stalagmite. I almost did. I almost got I'm them gonna backwards. I'm going to roll investigation <laughs> from on the perception. Because, the because the that's how this place works. 20 unnatural. Can you just, like, throw your sword at the ceiling? You can. Her sword. How high is the ceiling? Which sword? The one that can cut through everything. The ceiling is about 10 feet up. That's a low ceiling. I'm not doing for that. <coughs> Actually, no, it's not, because the other one is taller that's technically 20 feet up. Wait, 10 feet up? Technically, it's 20 feet I up. I turn the golden stuff into a bow and shoot the ceiling. Make an intelligence check. Does that work? 22. <coughs> it worked? Mm hmm. Yo. It becomes whatever you desire. If you are smart enough. I have an intelligence of 12. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> My intelligence modifier is a plus 8. Your intelligence modifier can't be plus 8. That's intelligence saving throw. You haven't been out of your saving throws, have you? I have been. Why not? I said intelligence check. That means you roll a d20 and add your intelligence modifier. Well, I'll do it again. Okay. 18. Yeah, it's, you still succeed. <laughs> yeah, there's a difference between a check and a saving throw. I rolled a 5. five. <laughs> you don't know what you're doing. I look at him and mimic again. <laughs> I got closer. Six. No, 12. Six. I got closer by one. You feel like you can almost do it, but just not quite. Just sit down, meditate on it for like 30 seconds. <laughs> and it's a. <laughs> that's so sad, it's a fluffy sword. That's so sad. <laughs> Your sword is. Floppy. God. I'm gonna go around and just start <laughs> slashing through slashing. walls. Oh, that's much better. It's not very useful. After <laughs> You're 30... just making slashes in the wall. After 30 seconds of holding it in my hands, I'm like, okay, try again. 19. I'm gonna try to use it to teleport. Ugh. Like, like, I'm gonna go like this. <laughs> Clear! <laughs> you grab a dagger. <laughs> it, it, become, it becomes a bra. Clear! <laughs> Golden bra. <laughs> Like also, that's off. not how you use a defibrillator. Yeah, you hit here. You hit one up here right. and one down closer to your side. Because it goes across the heart. Because you have to the frame heart. the heart. The heart's right here. The heart's yeah, you have here. to frame the heart. Either way, if you go here or yeah, here... Yeah, but you're supposed to do it a very specific way. I've been a lifeguard twice, I know this. <laughs> I've been a lifeguard twice. I got heart. fired <laughs> once, but it wasn't my <laughs> fault. Okay. <laughs> Shout through the heart. I tried not to hit your breast. Spiked Thanks. bra. Dang it, he moved. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All knowledge is mine. <laughs> All knowledge is mine. I, I can't see. Yes, but you can't hold all the knowledge. What happens, you know. when, what happens when I hit the ceiling with the arrow? I can't see. It's stuck in everything. It. No, I'm walking back through the You're door. You're shooting stone. My words make no sense. I can't see. We need to walk everything. everything. We need to walk all the way back, Belle Day. We're all doing this. Oh my gosh. Okay, <laughs> I take the southern door. Everyone look at him. Okay. You know where that lets out, so. And I'm going from there? Is it just a cavern? Mm-hmm. Is there any stairs? There are stairs, yes. I go up the stairs. Call's gonna Is there a door? All around there might be a door. I'm just kidding. Yes, there is. Okay, I go through the door, up through the city, and now I'm traveling over to Velte. <clears throat> Can join stars. And you start traveling to Velte. What happens on my journey? I go through... 
I go through the east door and immediately arrive in Beltane. Wait, what door did you go through the... Was... Is anyone going with Andrew? Why are you walking you... to Velte? Because it's just a cavern. We need to figure out how to open it so we can go back and forth to Velte. And we need their library. To figure out where more gods are to get them on the Shouldn't side. we go to a place with I'd rather with figure shovels. out how to go to a higher level of <gasps> power. I know how to get a shovel. I guess I'm alone. You're alone? But I'm too tired right. to actually do that, so... You wanna stay with me and help me do it? I was going over there. <sighs> I'm gonna mind my I already way. investigated the city for five hours looking for more ruins. Call is gonna create a martial art based around the scythe. You start creating a martial art based around the scythe. You can't come up with one effective strike. <laughs> yep. The hit. <laughs> I call it impact. You also come up with the miss, but. You, don't, you decide not to teach that to people. You decide not to teach that one. So, as you are walking along towards Velte... I'll walk you along. Wait a minute. Um, the glaive is like a... S- pretty, much, think, pretty much halfway. With, with Victoria going home, I think I'm going to go home. Okay. Just but because I have to wake up early and go to the temple tomorrow. Okay. But yes, as you are walking along, you make a perception check. 16. You see a little bit of a sparkle in you. A sparkle? Spark- it's sparkle, vampire. Sparkle. We're done. It's a vampire. Sparkle, sparkle. Get her bit by oh, the vampire. Oh, I, I finished my paladin. Okay. He's ready to kill. You make a small paladin okay. figurine out of your kill? golden thing. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> when he makes his weapon glow... And hit with it, he gets a plus nine to hit as a level three character. Victoria, what character did you make? W. I made a lot of characters. Which character are you referring to? <laughs> For Saturday. I made a lot of characters in my day. <laughs> I'm playing a 13 year old druid girl. It's a remake of Drania. She <laughs> actually wants wait, 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 to go wait. adventuring. 13 year old remake. Human. Oh, okay. They can't she, speak. She world hot. Oh, can't speak. Mm-hmm. That's not helpful. That, that is not helpful. She has the potential to learn how to speak. I'll probably help her. I guess I'm I'll alone take now. Over my wing. Yes. What are you doing? Like a little I sense. am in the basement of Velte. I like Becca. You meditate. Nope. Sleeping. I am with Meliodas, and he gave me the idea of turning my thing. Into a pickaxe and mining my way out. Mining a tunnel. Intelligence check. Intelligence. Do you only have to roll this for when you're turning it into a new thing? (laughs) You're not. (laughs) Twelve. Good night, folks. So you don't know how to make it into a pickaxe. Good night. But it's so simple. It's like a T. You make the you make the letter T. It's like, oh, uh, it's like, uh, try again. Uh, even less. I'm distracted by the weight. <laughs> One less. You make it a chubby T. Um, that was not a roll. Even though it was a 17, that wasn't a roll. I set the dice down and it went to 17. Ah, uh, fine. I ask Maliotis what he thinks I should do. Try harder. I taught you well. Maliotis actually does manage to turn his into a pickaxe. He rolled a natural 12. But I got 12 and I didn't get one. Exactly. And try again. I get even less at a four. Now it's just a circle. How would I make a circle? It's a two-dimensional circle. Don't drop it wrong. Okay, try again. 
Hopefully it doesn't turn one dimensional. <laughs> Move through my hand. You know what? Just gonna try again because I know that won't make it. <laughs> Here we go, Nat 20! It is the best pickaxe. It is the notched pickaxe. Down at the top of the mountain, whatever. Yeah, it's actually a stall room pickaxe. A stall room? I mean, ancient Nordic pickaxe. I wish you could make one out of stall room. What's stall room? Clearly, you've not played enough Skyrim. I haven't played it in a while. Okay. So. Whoop, boink. Take your pickaxe and you start hitting the wall. <laughs> how do you. How do you. How do you pickaxe that fast? I have a pickaxe at my house and it's really heavy. It's you like and Meliodas are just eight like pounds. We should team, 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 team. Do wielding pickaxes. Team, team. <laughs> It's like ice picks at that point. Just smaller pickaxes. That's the sound an orcish heartbeat makes. War drums remind orcs of the womb. Anyway. And then you got the guy in the back playing the cymbals. No one likes the guy playing the cymbals. <laughs> Triangle solo! <laughs> Dinner time! Everyone runs away. Death metal triangle. I death didn't know there's such a thing as metal made of death. How do I get this metal made of death? <laughs> if you would like to volunteer to be made into death metal, please leave it in the comment section below. Hmm. So... How long does this take? How long are you willing to spend? Until my arms feel like lead? Your arms feel like lead after a couple hours. How much progress have we made? Um... You and Nelly are just working together. Like 20 feet. That's a lot. Yeah, I'm being generous. <laughs> I'm being generous because I can't afford not to. It's probably like one more foot, but I can't swing this thing anymore. I can afford to be generous. It throws a penny at me. I can afford to be generous. I got that in my sleeve. I can afford to be generous. It knocked another one out of my hand and replaced it with itself. <laughs> I can afford to be generous. Do you have any more pennies I can throw at you? I can only afford to be generous as long as I have one cent coins. Wait, you threw four pennies at me? I threw a lot more than four. No, you didn't. No, I threw a lot more than four. There's just four. I've thrown six. I just pulled two out of my pocket and now there's six. <laughs> I think you might have thrown a nickel at my head. <laughs> I didn't throw a nickel at you. It's a penny! This is a nickel. It's a nickel? It's a nickel. It's a very old nickel. <laughs> you need to stop! <laughs> Don't worry about the pennies. <laughs> okay. Come. I can afford to be Jim. Nickel. So it is. I see you have developed the skill nickel. How does that work against the thing I wanted to do? Um, uh -huh. here. So as you're doing this, you see a sparkle in the air. Uh, I investigate. Roll an investigation check with disadvantage. It's right there. How do I have this advantage? Uh. That's cocked. So I got six plus investigation. I have a plus six to invest. No, nope, that's intimidation. <laughs> Not investigation. That's a um, seven. Malios? It's a sparkle. Malios, what's this? It's a sparkle that is like slowly floating down. We see the sparkle. Malios, what is that? Oh, 
all of a sudden vines come out of the ground. I need both you and Meliodas to make a strength saving throw. We're good at that. <laughs> I need you and Meliodas to make a strength saving throw. Meliodas' character sheet. Meliodas. Oh, he speaks dwarvish. Good to know. <laughs> um... Because he was using the Axe of the Dwarvish Lords. It gives you the ability to speak Dwarvish. Hmm. So. It also gives you immunity. I can give immunity to Strength poison. saving throw. That would be 16 for me and for Meliodas, which is plus 7. He got higher than I did. Uh. So you rolled a 19. He so rolled a 7. I rolled, a, I rolled an 8. So these vines come up and they just wrap around you, constrict you. Meliodas manages to get out of the area. Meliodas rolled a 19. As these vines just keep like wrapping around you. Can I summon my thing right in front of me? Make an intelligence check. 11. You can't seem to summon it if, when you can't move your arms. <laughs> Apparently you're not that skilled yet. Little help, please. I'm, I am encased in plant matter that is currently trying to kill me. It doesn't go over your head. Who's doing this? Sparkle, is this you? Make an investigation check. Actually, wait. Main intelligence saving throw. Dusk Sparkle, is this you? Who made a reference? Anyway. Uh, do do do. Intelligence saving throw? Did you say. Is that 16? It is. That's surprising that I got that on that die. Okay. 16 intelligence plus intelligence. Is one, so that's 17. Nothing happened. Oh. Mm. Bono! <laughs> I require assistance! Bono is nowhere near. <laughs> or else he would have heard and come to sell me his stuff. Oh, everything's shaking. Okay. Yeah, Maliotis, why are you not helping? Meliodas is trying to help. He's like cutting at the plants in front of him that they just go back. Hmm. How about you don't grow anymore? I think you grow. <laughs> I make an intimidate check against the plants. It's time for you to stop. <laughs> Roll intimidation check with disadvantage. 18? Actually, no, just roll intimidation check. <laughs> 18 plus intimidation. <laughs> um, 18 plus 6. 24. The plants stop growing. You start retracting into the ground. <laughs> it's time for you to stop. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> okay, well that worked better than expected. And I step out and I'm like, okay, why did that happen? Let's go back and talk to that book guy. Because this isn't working. So we walk back. So as you're going back towards the gateway, make a... I'm pretty sure a wisdom saving throw. I'm good at that. He says he rolls a natural one. Almost. Do Was it wisdom? Yes. Or was it something else? Wisdom. Uh, that's um, 11. So. Oh, make Meliodas do one too. Oh, yeah, Meliodas. His wisdom is. He rolled an 11. Okay, you both failed. You keep walking towards the archway. You're about halfway there. 
Yeah. And you just stop. Why? Your mind just goes blank and you're just... Uh... What? I try to remember? Do a few seconds. You remember. Oh. There's something I'm supposed to do on the other side of the cavern. You turn around and start walking back. Melius just stands there. Hey, come on. Bonk. Light tap on top of the head. And you both start walking in directions vaguely similar. So you're walking east. Meliodas is walking southeast. Mm. I don't know how you can tell directions without the sun, but actually, you have, you have to ride a lot in it. He does. So, this sounds like it's going to end terribly. Um, what do I do? You know, the little sparkle's still there. What are you, I ask? Are you here for a reason? Are you here to thwart my plans? Answer me! I have a staring contest with the sparkle. It tell, tells me what it knows. The sparkle doesn't blink. Your eyes dry out. Oh no! I am a pirate. I grow seven fingers out of my eye. That's strange. <laughs> this is strange. You are strange. Uh, I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. What do I do? Meliodas, what do I do? I'm asking my child for advice. Shoot it. Javelin! You still have javelins? Yes, I do. Wow. Okay, roll the hit with javelin. With disadvantage, technically. <laughs> well, is that a 10? Yes, it is. So I rolled a 19 out of 10 to hit the javelin, plus 6, that's 16 to hit. That hits roll damage, even though I don't think it matters. <laughs> even though I don't think it matters. I don't know what this is, but I'm gonna hit it that's six damage okay so your javelin sails through the air and appears to hit something when it hit when it goes through a sparkle and it just goes through and hits the wall and this little full form appears near and just falls to the ground oh no it was a fairy i'm sad now I pick it up. Go over and pick it up. Is this just like lying in a pool of like violet blood? I made a terrible error. I feel bad now. Were you the one who tried to grow vines around me? This little face just stares up at you and blinking. Hmm. Do I feel less confused now? Yes. I'm gonna feel slightly less bad. 
Aldo is still feeling bad. And walk back to the... Uh... What's his face? The book guy. Yeah. Like a little fairy in the little woods where you head again. <laughs> I'm sad now. Stop it. I was sad before. You need to stop it. Do you go back to the bookkeeper? Yes. He's sitting in the tower trying to understand. Trying to understand. More or less, he's meditating. <laughs> but he sees your approach. Is there something I can help you with? Help you with it? I lost my teeth. He looks very tired. You need to sleep. It's like bags under his eyes, and he's just like. What is the third ritual about? I'm not sure yet. Still working on that one. Is it being sworn in as a thing? I don't know. Pretending to read the Bible is a lie. Cole's gonna pretend to read the books. Because she can't. There are confusing symbols in the books. Even ones that you don't recognize as the normal confusing symbols that you recognize. doing this by myself. I need somebody else to be here to do stuff and me to be like, okay, make funny comments. But without anybody else here, I have a struggle. They're just holding the corpse of a, of a fairy. Now I have a shotgun. So this fairy tried to attack me. Does that have anything to do with the ritual? Tried to attack you? It encased me in vines and made me confused. That doesn't sound so much like a, an attack as more of a joke. You wouldn't let me leave. Maybe it didn't want you to leave. What is there for me to get? It wouldn't talk to me. I asked it questions. Nothing happened. They don't speak your language. I speak... Not elvish. <laughs> Oh, dang it. That's probably why I have issues communicating. Oh. Your hand is just covered in violet blood. It makes me sad. Stop it. Javelin's like the size of a pixie. Revivify! He's throwing the javelin at the pixie. Can you cast your for the I don't think you can. Do I have anything? Uh, I don't know what to do. Well, nothing to do about it now, I guess. What should we do next? I wait an hour for him to figure something out. And then after he figures something out, I'm going to think about it. He didn't figure anything out. Dang it! Can I try and figure something out? Sure, roll an investigation check. I doubt... 
this will turn up anything. It's a 12. Yeah. So, as you're investigating, you hear a voice in your head. I haven't heard one of these in a while. Okay, hi. Why would you kill me, Jesse? I don't know. This is what happens when I'm confused. Not my fault, okay? This is what happens when I get confused. I didn't do it on purpose. So that is your excuse? It's not an excuse, it's a... This is what happened. And I feel Still sorry for it. How what? Still sounds like an excuse. Mm. Listen, I'm sorry, I didn't. I'm not good at decisions on the spot. Especially when... Yeah, just not good at it. Do what if I were to give you another chance? I would do it differently. We shall see. Hmm. But doing it differently in the same scenario would not work. So, let's see what you do. Okay. I sit. And I wait for the next scenario. <laughs> so, you... You look at where you laid Pixie's body on the stones. Uh -huh. And the Pixie's not there. Uh. There's purple in... There is... human girl there. Oh no, that made me feel even more sad. Okay. Hello? It's like, it's like laying on the stones. Boop. Um. Do I have minor healing? I have cure wounds. Don't I? I think I yes, do in my body. I use that. Oh, I have a six to medicine. Okay. Do you cast cure wounds? Sure. Yes. So it just like opens her eyes and just like looks around. Hello. I don't know what to say. Do you speak common? Okay. So it kind of like huddles up into like the corner. Mm -hmm. What's the last thing you remember? Do you have any idea where you are? Looks around a bit. No. Hmm. This is well, what is this place called? Olar. Oh Olan? Olar. Olar. This is Olar. It is the place of the what is they what are they called? Red Cloak Slayers. Red Cloak Slayers? 
Do you know what they are? No. Do you know what you are? She looks down at herself. And she's... She's <laughs> wearing like a, the, like a giant version of the rose petal dress. Um, uh, five ten-fingered being? I don't know. I'm not sure. You are human. At least as far as I can tell. Um. Ah. Uh, you. Uh, I give them some rations. Listen, to eat this. It's not very tasty, but it's filling and it will help with uh, oh, what will it help with? Hunger. <laughs> well, <laughs> like reluctantly takes a bite. This is harder than in real life. In real life, talking is easy. Here it's not. Because everything you do, the DM uses against you. It's like being in a courtroom. Not everything, just most of them. Just 99.9% .9 of the things, and the rest he uses to screw over other people. And by extension, you. Yep. Sounds about right. Uh, hmm. So I sit for an hour, or however long it takes for stuff to calm down. How long have we been awake? Shouldn't we be taking a full rest by now? It is pretty much nighttime. Yeah, take a full rest. Okay. Any dreams? Okay. She lay down and starts sleeping. Um, you get murdered. Congratulations! You get murdered. Ro roll new character. By the girl. <laughs> I knew this was a bad idea. It's actually, by the book, the bookkeeper killed both of you. This is how you get the third ritual. No. There's just a madness in his eyes from not sleeping for three days straight. I cast sleep on the... <laughs> I cast sleep on him. You need to sleep. What? So you wake up, and the bookkeeper's still sitting there. Looks like he's about to just, like, collapse. Sleep. <laughs> Found something. Okay, what is it? It's about protect. He just like falls asleep. Just... Protect, 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 protect. Hmm. <laughs> called red cloak slayers yes the red cloak slayers i swear to protect all life in the name of the red cloak slayers nothing happens nothing happens protect 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 huh. can i roll an intelligence check for what I don't know. Figuring this out is hard. I don't know lots of things. I guess I could meditate on it while... I'm going to say no, because you don't have all the pieces. Yeah, I think I might wait for the guy to wake up. Because this is not Carl's expertise. Her expertise is mostly hitting things. Hard. Ve and very, killing them. Very hard. Do you know what that means? I asked to the girl. You know, 
anything about oaths? Not really. Hmm. Then were you? Sorry. <laughs> Not really. Um. What would your guess be? Do you know what we're trying to do? No. Hey, I'm with this organization. We're trying to save the world from darkness and death and oblivion. It's called the United States government. Hey, I'm with the government. I'm here to save the world. Run screaming in the opposite direction. No! Um? Little tendy too. So, we're here to save the world from, oh, what's the guy? Alumat? Alumat. He's really bad, and he seeks to kill things just to kill things. I used to do that, but I don't want to anymore, so I'm trying to stop, but it's kind of hard sometimes. Because sometimes people get really annoying, you know what I'm saying? Anyway... We're here to defeat Aluma and try and keep the peace in the world. But that's quite difficult when you don't know what you're doing. So yeah, that's our deal. What do you think of... The plan. The plan is to become part of these people with super powerful weapons and I saw in my scythe. Oh, I tell her to say the words, all the words to the rituals we know so far. She looks at you skeptically. Just please do it. It's how I got this and this. I'm gonna stop rolling. If a day and a half is enough for him to figure it out, he's gonna have to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Are you freaking serious? I rolled 36 times. You rolled 36 times? <laughs> what the uh, heck? He slept on it. He slept on this information for 36 hours. No, no she, he stayed awake for 36 hours trying to figure it out. <laughs> um. So I'll no, no, no. roll a persuasion check. Persuasion. Oh, this is the die. The, this is the evil die. I'm not rolling that. I'm trying to curse all of them. Um, <gasps> I choose the sparkly blue one. Those ones usually work well for me. The sparkly blue one. Fine, I'll use the, one. the sparkly blue one. That's clear. <laughs> uh, persuasion. Perception, persuasion. That's a 14. Sleep. What's your Fine. <laughs> Fine. Because... Great job for your case here. Great job for your case here. Okay, so... Wouldn't having a plus two to your armor class make you feel more secure? What? <laughs> uh, I think that was out of character because I don't think Colin knows what an armor class is. Well, if your armor has a lot of class. It's, it's made by one of those big brand companies. Um. Cheerio, old sport. Me and my candy jacket. Are, are we going to the races? No, we're going to go fighting. 
Again? Why do you have to only wear me when you go fighting? Because that's what you're for. Shut up, suit jacket. I'm a suit jacket. I'm a plate mail. Curious. <laughs> you know, I'm curious too, but that has nothing to <laughs> do with this. Too. <laughs> Uh, what about the Greaves? What are you going to tell them? Just keep moving forward. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was a good one. <laughs> um, Brown. Brown. Chartreuse? Nineteen. Um, who are my kids? <laughs> Maliotis convinces her. Roll for Maliotis because I can't do How old's Maliotis? How old's Maliotis? Yeah. Let's see, what does it curious say? now. He was ten, and then I had him for like three years, so he should be around thirteen. He's like thirteen. So he's probably close to the same age as this girl. Because mm-hmm. she's like, she, she actually, yeah, she's like twelve-ish. Mm-hmm. So yeah, he can roll a persuasion check if you tell me what he's saying. Oh, you are the worst. Let's see, what would Maliota say? How is he gonna persuade this girl? <laughs> Just saying it like that. <laughs> you would be able to okay let's think I'm only gonna say something I'm gonna tell you when I'm actually saying what I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it out loud first because I can't figure things out very well let's think so you will be able to be part of a great work to save the material plane and help people while um while improving yourself You will be the sword for others, a shield to others, and fight for to keep the light and balance in the multiverse. You done? Yeah, I think so. Okay, roll persuasion. Persuasion. (laughs) That's higher. Thirteen. I don't know how to fight. It, you stick him with the pointy end. This is sort of like this. Do you have magics? I don't think so. Think about vines springing up from the ground. And point your finger at Maliotis. <laughs> point your finger at him. Nothing happened. Dang it. Well, that's out the window so far. You don't need to fight. You could get a shield. Like an actual shield. Like as... Does it turn into a shield? Could it turn into a shield? No, you haven't tried. I'm gonna try and turn it into a shield. That's a 17 plus intelligence. Yay! Which would be 18 because my, my intelligence is one. I'm going to say that it can turn into a shield. So you turn into a shield. You can get a shield. You don't need to fight. You could be a defender. I just... I don't know. 
if you don't want to fight, you don't have to. We can bring you to uh, Varal, and you can stay there. There's nice people there, and they can take care of you. Man, my brain is tired. <laughs> I, I, my brain hurts. My brain hurts. <laughs> feel like I've been stabbed in the eye with a spoon. I don't know what that feels like. I do, actually. And this is what it feels like. Persuasion? I don't know. Um, you can roll another persuasion check. You're going Convince with disadvantage. Convincian. That's a 16. And that's a cocked. And that's a 5. So that's in 7. And 7. And 7. I don't know. I don't know. think so. Well, what do you want to do? I don't know. <laughs> well, that might be part of our problem. If even you don't know what you want, then no decisions can be made. You have to decide what you want. Because if you don't, no decisions will ever be made. You will just sit and sit and sit and just stay sitting forever and it's mm, you have to do things in life you can't just sit unless somehow you make a prof profession out of sitting and you have other people bring you your food but that doesn't seem likely wait a minute that's that's called royalty never mind <laughs> i don't know if royalty counts as a profession eh. maybe a professional mattress tester Professional mattress test. That sounds awesome. Those are, that's the thing. I need to do that. You gonna be a mattress tester for a living? Sleep on the job? And get paid for it? That sounds awesome. Except for when the mattress is terrible. Then you're like, um, no. This like a horrible day's sleep. This literally suck. <laughs> you become this, nocturnal. <laughs> this is literally the, it's sucking the sleep out of me. I can't sleep on this. I can't do it. And there's like eight people like watching you sleep like jogging their nuts. <laughs> can you leave please? I need it's... some private day. I cannot sleep with eight people taking notes on my sleep. We need to see how much you toss and turn in the night. Well, then put me in an interrogation room where there's a mirror. One way mirror. Or just a video camera. Or just a video camera! <laughs> Either way, it doesn't matter. Just don't stand over me like, so how does it feel? And they all draw daggers. And so the sacrifice is complete. Shoot! Spinning heel kick! No! <laughs> you knock seven of the daggers out of their hands, but the last one jams it into your heart. Ooh, look, free dagger. Ow. And then you die. <laughs> My heart falls out. Oh, so that's what that looks like. <laughs> and then you die. It looks like a potato. You look like a potato. I'm Irish. Exactly. Oh, of course look I look like, like a, a potato. potato. I'm Danish. Do I look like a Danish? You look like a radish. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay so if you don't make a decision on what you want to do in life then nothing's ever gonna happen so we need to have you do a thing make a decision to try something you don't have to nest in as many necessarily think it's the best thing but do something stand up walk around do something you'll find something that you like doing eventually
Hmm. Yeah. Go walk around. We have books. If you look at a book. Hey, book guy. Oh, he's asleep. Yeah, <laughs> book have pictures. No. <laughs> they have lots of little pictures. Those are called letters. He drew some pictures now, but those are in his notes. I don't know. I talked to that voice in my head saying, what am I supposed to do? There is no response. You're almost even less than unhelpful. Or it's me or the voice in your head. I am. Or both. I refuse to answer that question. <laughs> I, I, okay, I take that as a yes. I choose. <laughs> Which one? Me or the voice in my head? No. Wait, what? I, I, d d error. Does not compute. 110% is not possible. Error overlord. Error, John. error overload, John. <laughs> error overload to John. <laughs> Got it. And dead. Um, Sir, should we press the blue button? What's like this red and yellow striped one? <laughs> you press the red and yellow striped one, and then that releases the aliens into the White House. The White House turns to spaghetti. <laughs> yes, I like that. <laughs> How does that even happen? The red button makes meatballs. Boop, 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 and marinara boop, boop. sauce. How many times can you push the button? Until the universe <laughs> is out of meatballs and marinara. All the cows just start turning into meatballs spontaneously. <laughs> Uncooked meatballs. If they stay out on the sun long enough, they'll cook. <laughs> if they don't go bad first. Uh, I invite all the citizens of Washington to the White House for a feast. For a feast. <laughs> Throw them a feast. <laughs> what? What is <laughs> my name? <laughs> Rocky, yeah, right? Something to do with rocks. He's you know, an earthbender. <laughs> We're going to keep trying, but that is a good backup. <laughs> We're going to keep trying, but that is a terrible backup. <laughs> but it's all we've got, so... He's not a boxer. I may look like a frail old man, but I'm the most powerful earthbender you'll ever see. There are no take back seats in my kingdom. Whee! You might want this! Okay, back to the game. <laughs> what to do, what to do, what to do. Did you know you were a fairy? <laughs> do you know what a fairy is? No. Can I draw a picture of a fairy? Just call know how to draw. It's like a stick figure. Roll a performance check. It's like a picture with wings. Performance. Persuasion. Performance. That's that's a thirteen. What's the DC? There is no DC. What is you it? roll determines how well the picture is drawn. So it's it's a decent picture. <laughs> Not quite professional because that fifteen and above. Yeah. That twenty is the best picture you have ever seen in your life. It's decent. I have a bard character who draws a lot of pictures, especially of horrifying scenes in his past. <laughs> he usually rolls at least twenty. <laughs> at least a twenty. He's really good at drawing horrible things. <laughs> you know this? I saw this in a dream once. He drew a picture of when his house was burning down, when he found his daughter lying on the floor unconscious. That's terrible. Anyway, 
grabbed his daughter and ran outside, and then he got knocked unconscious, and when he woke up, his daughter was gone. That's and also terrible. now he just wants to find his daughter, and that's it. <laughs> Screw you guys. Period. Screw the world. Don't care if it ends. Screw the world. I need my daughter back. <laughs> I want my daughter back. I need Batman. <laughs> Bad. Yeah, that guy is kind of a tragic backstory. Okay. Um. So this is a fairy. It's about the same size as this picture. It can cast magics. And when you were a fairy, you had magic powers, and you trapped me with vines coming out of the ground. And you also made me very confused. I did? Yes, you did. This is the powers that I supposed you could have as a human, but I don't think that's a possibility anymore. But you did. Mm. And it was... Different. And so we continue to talk, King, and wait for the book guy to wake up. Book guy wakes up and just rambles on like a madman for a couple hours. <sighs> oh, do you know your name? Do you have a name? Book guy rambles on for 12 hours and falls back to sleep. Talantia. Hmm. Hmm. Nice. Anywho, <laughs> I'm a terrible person. Um. <laughs> did you all? Did Did you know Maliotis killed you? What? <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't say that. Stop it! <laughs> it's running away, and I can't. It was more funny the second time. It keeps disappearing. Um. So. Do, 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 do. This is what happens when I'm tired. All right. So. And. Yeah. <laughs> Call gives the girl a mushroom. Here, eat this. Just like set a string to the sheep for me. Make a deception check. Easy. I'm good at that. Deception. <laughs> Deception. That's a 17. Rolled a 16. <laughs> Why do you laugh like that? No reason. She eats the mushroom. She's a constitution saving throw. Holy fudge. She succeeds the constitution saving throw. I thought you couldn't succeed those. I thought it was just you, a thing where you get you an effect. You can't succeed those. <laughs> Be quiet. <laughs> and I guess... I don't know. I guess we leave off there because I'm boring. <laughs> I'm bad at being by myself, okay? I'm bad at making decisions. I'm good at killing things, not so much player to NPC dialogue. I'm slow of talking. And so, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yep. 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 So, I guess that's it. Because I can't think of anything else. Before I forget. Yeah. But I just barely thought. So, as you're like walking around the city, being bored. Just like looking at all the pretty flowers and everything. Remembering how I killed the person. Remembering how I killed the person. <laughs> I think everyone's killed a person. I think everyone in the party has killed someone. <laughs> at least one. I'm not sure, but I like, think. Not not in characters, but maybe in just the players throughout their critical 20. Because Victoria and Andrew did new characters. I'm yeah. pretty sure that we've all at least killed one person. Yeah. As you're like walking around the city, and yeah, Delantia like cuts her foot on like a sharp stone or something. I'm good at medicine. I'ma tape that up. You're gonna tape up someone's foot? Yes. With some gauze, put some gauze on there, and then tape you up don't the have foot. Gauze. I can make some. I have cloth. Like shred some cloth. And fold it over so it. It's pretty much just wrapper foot. Yeah. Okay. You do so. That was what I was not wanting to forget for some reason. <laughs> I don't remember why, but I wanted this. I think I'm slightly too tired to remember why. Okay. Anyway, good so, night, you guys. Yeah, that's it's where we're time end to end, end for off because I'm boring. Sorry like about that. Clock. Okay. Yep. So we will see you next time. Next time. On critical.